as a lightweight traveler, you always want to make sure that whatever you bring in your backpack can serve multiple purposes. And one of those things, one of those pieces of kit that I find to be essential as an ultralight backpacker is the sarong. This is my sarong. Right? It's just a piece of cloth, essentially. But it serves so many purposes. I want to share with you some of the things that you can use your sarong for when you're traveling. This is especially if you're traveling in the tropics, I would say. Uh, once you're outside of the tropics, it's difficult to keep it ultra light, really, um, because you need more clothing, etc. In the tropics, that's where you can really, really, really travel light. And that's also where the sarong comes in most handy. So let's have a look at what we can use the sarong for. Let's say that your um, shorts needs washing. So you're washing your shorts, it's drying, and you need something else to wear. You can just put your sarong around like that. Easy, you know? You could even tie it up like that. Looks super epic, jungle man coolness, you know? Run around in the jungle with the sarong. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, so that was that was one of the uses. And then, of course, when you're sleeping in the tropics, it's usually pretty hot. But every now and then, it can get a little bit chilly, you know, in the night. It's nice to have something to cover up with. Or let's say that it's a hot day and you forgot your cap, your hat, or whatever. You could uh, use your sarong as a headband. Again, you know, if you want to look like an awesome jungle man, this is how you do it. Of course, if you got a knife, you're even cooler. Alright, so that's a headband. Protect against the sun, maybe even the rain if you want to keep your hair dry or whatever. Doesn't really last for long though. Okay, it can be used as a rope. You know, if you, if you need to tie up something, you can use it as a rope. Um, if you're gonna climb a coconut palm, uh, some people use their sarong, they tie it around their legs and then this sort of tied around their legs and when they're climbing up the palm this keeps their legs sort of fixed on the palm tree. You could use it as a bag. Take all your clothes, put them in the sarong or whatever you want to carry, you just take the ends like that. There you have, have it, a bang. Go carry it like that, or throw it over your shoulder. Then let's say you're in a place where the sun is really hot on your balcony or whatever, you could just hang up your sarong as sun protection. Perhaps there's a light coming through your window in your bungalow and you're trying to sleep and there's this light and there's no curtains. You got yourself a curtain. Unless you're using it as a cover, I guess. And of course, in the tropics, we don't really care about bringing a towel, because it's so hot, you just dry up immediately, there's no problem, plus being a little bit wet actually can be pleasant, because it's so hot, so it helps you to cool down. But if you were to desire a towel, you could just use your sarong. Perfect. Perfect towel. When you're carrying fruit in your backpack, Sometimes you can use the sarong as padding, you know? If you're carrying some sensitive mangoes or something, you can put them in the sarong. And that'll keep them protected from getting bruised. And then when you arrive in the park or whatever and you're gonna eat your mangoes, having a fruit picnic, of course, you put it out. And you have something to sit on. Perfect. There was this one time actually where uh, I think Mads was really cold, so I lent him my pants, so he had both my pants and his own, and I wore two sarongs, like this, walking around in airport, I think it was Singapore airport. I got some looks, but uh, I felt pretty cool though, you know, I like being strange. Strange is cool. What else can we use our sarong for? 
suppose you've been out in the sun for too long and your shoulders are a little bit burnt maybe. Just toss your sarong around your shoulders. Walk like that. Unless you have a t-shirt. Use your sarong as a belt. Like that. Perfect belt. If you need to be invisible, you can just put on your sarong like that. No one will see you. If it gets cold on your flight, you could just use it as a blanket. Of course, if you break your arm, you could make a sling like that. And if you're really out of luck and suppose you got a big cut or you know something bad, you could use the the sarong as a bandage, I guess, or tourniquet maybe, you know, to keep it from bleeding. So that would be a good use for it. Especially girls can of course, you know, they can make long skirts, they can make short skirts, they can make, uh, they can use it as a shawl, they can use it as a, I don't know, you know, there's, there's, as clothing, the sarong is very versatile. Suppose you're on a, a motorbike, there's a lot of dust, you could do something like that, you know, protect you from breathing all that dust. But honestly, that's probably better done with a bandana. And a bandana is actually the perfect accompaniment of a sarong, you know. If you have a sarong and a bandana, you're good, you know. Those two together, you can do a lot of things. So as you can see, the sarong is extremely, extremely versatile. There's just endless, endless, endless uh, uses for the sarong. So I would recommend if you're going out traveling, uh, if, especially if you're trying to keep it lightweight, uh, bring a sarong and also just think about you know, reducing how much you bring because really when you're traveling you don't want to be carrying around a really heavy backpack because that just makes everything so such an ordeal you know you want your backpack to at least stay below seven kilos I would say but if you can keep it even below that five kilos four kilos three kilos two one zero you know it's possible um, that is awesome